Hey guys, welcome back to the Take Actum channel. Um, my name is Art Escutia, and this channel is all about multiple streams of income. Uh, as you know, multiple streams of income is no longer a luxury. It is definitely a necessity nowadays. So uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hope you enjoy the next video. Um, if you dig in my new blue block glass, blue blockers, uh, sunglasses, uh, I highly recommend you take a look at the uh, link below uh, in the description. If you're anything like me, um, my eyes were getting really burned out. I, I, I'm, I'm in front of a computer quite a bit uh, on my phone, on a tablet, uh, doing a lot of work, and it was really affecting my sleep. Uh, so I invested in these very cold looking uh, blue blockers, and it's literally changed my whole day. Um, sleep much better. My eyes aren't so watery and, and burned out. Uh, so highly recommend it. Uh, I know that they're, they're having a sale right now. So uh, take a look at that link in the description. Use that promo code I have down there to, to get an additional 10%. All right. So by overwhelming demand, um, I heard a few guys saying that uh, my last post uh, on the four pillars of Unpassive was just a little too long. So uh, I've done some editing, uh, cut out the front end, and I just got get giving you the meat and potatoes. Um, the presentation that Ash put together on the four pillars. Uh, it is no longer an hour 37 minutes. It's only about an hour now. Uh, I highly recommend you hear it from beginning to end. It'll literally blow your mind. Um, and then after you listen to it, take action. Become a founder. Don't miss the boat. I'm telling you, this is a very, very huge opportunity for everyone to change their bottom line. So with that said, let me turn it over to Ash and uh, we'll talk soon. Have a great day. Bye. Everybody, my name is Ash. I'm your friend, and uh, this is all I do. And um, I'm very delighted to be with uh, on Passive Nation as usual. I think we're going to make it uh, a very uh, special uh, event here. Uh, this is a very dear uh, group to us, and uh, the, the, the energy is just the, the perfect mindset for what we're doing in on Passive. If everybody replicates this spirit and, and, and attitude and mentality in, in the industry, it's not going to be a problem. But here's a problem. People come from different backgrounds and they're conditioned into something. It, it is not even proven. It's right. Uh, so it's been said this way. And, you know, the first attempt of doing uh, business and this kind of uh, automation or uh, digital world. So it's been done in a certain fashion, maybe 10, 15 plus years ago, and everybody else continue to repeat that, though a bigger, a bigger portion are uh, from a traditional business background. So they try to apply this digital world, okay, with, the traditional old school, which doesn't click. We got the baby boomers, they have a different style of doing it. We got the millennial, they have a different attraction and a different style as well to, to the whole concept. And technology not has changed. It became a whole different animal. So how could you apply the same over and over? This is exactly the definition of insanity. You keep doing the same thing over and over, and you ex expect a different result. That's just insanity. It, you have to change if you want to, this is 2020, and the pace of technology is far faster than anything else. The future is technology. The present is technology. It's, it's not a, it, it's indisputable. It's irrefutable that should we trust this computer or this machine or device? We can doubt many things now, but we do trust these. We can't live without them, just like oxygen and water. I mean, not for survival, but if, if you want to have an efficient life in today's life, that's why it became inevitable. We have to endorse technology in any business. This is not 2004 and five when when the Googles and the Facebook were rising. So they, 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 they transitioned or they advanced, but 
when people came in, oh wow, I can have a page now. I, I can type something and, and people from different countries can see what I'm typing. Whoa, that was mind boggling back then. But today we can do more with technology. So let me tell you what the future is, okay? It's technology. Uh, the future is automation with uh, machine learning strategies, that is artificial intelligence, AI. The future is virtual life and virtual reality. Uh, the future is uh, 3D printing, 25% of all uh, products and uh, items are going to be manufactured throughout 3D printing just in five years from now, not, not like decades. So you need to prepare now. This is, you know, very uh, sophisticated technology. You're not going to wait until 20. So this is the, we know it's coming. You're going to have 3D printing. You're going to have art, artificial intelligence. Now you have to have automation. You have to have virtual products and digital products now that can take and lift up the heavy lifting that we do. We have to do anyway. Uh, you're not going to wait and then begin to, to adapt to the new technology. You, you've got to be prepared now because I think we all agree that every day either you prepare or repair something from yesterday. You prepare for tomorrow. So if I want to have a successful tomorrow, it's a simple math. I have to do the work today. I will have the results or the harvest tomorrow doesn't mean literally tomorrow in the future. And when you don't do that, that new style is gonna happen anyway. And then you have to start repairing and adjust it. You'll, you'll be behind the curve back in the future. So we are absolutely on the front wave of many good things. Make no mistake, the future is very obvious. You're going to have technology. You're going to have automation, artificial intelligence, 3D printing, uh, digital currencies or money. That has to be solved. I'm not indicating specific Ethereum or this coin or I swear. I don't know. But we have to have, maybe it doesn't exist, not even Bitcoin. I don't know. But, but we have to have digital money that we don't count the dirty, nasty papers anymore in any currency and it has to be universal because the, the world is like, you know, bridging more and more and it's becoming a big village, just one. So why do we have to have so many currencies and so many items and units? And so this is the future, okay? And uh, we, uh, we know the saying about like the, the, the gold rush back in California, those who prepared the tools made a fortune versus who were digging for the for the gold okay uh we're doing we're selling the tools with on passive so here are the four fillers of uh, pillars of on passive uh you might have heard them before but i want to tell you how i i i sincerely believe one of them could make us very successful so we knew how there is a high demand, growing demand on technology, on tools, whether marketing is one thing, but communication, uh, you know, education, virtual work now, work from home. It's not like get a real job anymore. This is the real job. Uh, have you heard it before? Somebody tell you like, oh, come on, what are you doing? Okay, get a real job. I have heard it from friends, from intelligent, educated people, sadly, but in different areas, not in this area. Uh, they, uh, get a real job. I don't, it, it hurts. Okay, this is real. Uh, you, you don't see it. Or like, and we decided to have everything that we use in one place called on passive. So we know what we need to use like for, for business building, for uh, money producing, like crowdfunding. Uh, people want to make a living for work from home, for learn from home, 
for uh, even worship from home now. And all the the different niches, they, they require some common tools. You cannot avoid them. As of now, the market tells you, you're going to go get this. You're going to get Zoom. You're going to get the Gmail. You're going to get that account. You're going to have a, a, a domain name. You're gonna, so you're, it, it is overwhelming. Cost, uh, learning. It, it can be intimidating for the baby boomers or even those who are not from this uh, industry. But everybody, regardless of their sector, they're going to need such a solution. So we decided to say, we're the supermarket. We're the one-stop shop of all the tools and technologies and modalities that we use anyway. So it's not something we're going to, I don't know if it's going to sell or not. Okay. It is selling. It's, it's selling like hot cake. And we're using it, we're paying for it, but it is just complicated and it can be better and it can be more convenient and user friendly in one platform. So the fact that we have gathered everything in one stop shop, that is already a whole business. That's it. We could say we're done. On passive is already a success. We have all the tools in one place. We're going to sell it, market, pack it, right? Sell, sell, sell every day, hot cake. But we said, well, we know how technology can be complicated for others, like they were not born with this era of technology. So, but this is the internet population. So you have to include them. You have to include all kind of uh, backgrounds all different languages, all different, you know, walks of life. So we said, we have to automate it. It's, it's like, it's not possible that I can expect you to do the same thing, Mike to do the same thing, Marty can do the same. It, it's just not replicatable. It's not duplicatable. It's not uh, systematic. We have to, do it in an accurate, perfected way, like science. Machines can be duplicatable, but not human. We got the mindset involved, we got the leadership, we got the expectation, the mood, the attitude. Every day, you have a different mood. So how are you gonna run a solid, sustainable, consistent business if you can fluctuate? You might have a bad week in your life your family. So if that is gonna affect your performance in, in business, not gonna be a good business. It's not a, it's not a good model. Now, that's one. But if you have a bad week, he's having a horrible month, just a, a lot of issues going in their neighborhood or, or country and all of that. So now collectively we come in the back of our head, we know the drama that we go through. So if that is gonna be affecting our performance, it's not going to be as efficient. So we have to really automate it. So pillar one, complete system, digital system, not marketing. Don't tell me marketing anymore. We have communication. We have the whole digital world is summed up in on passive. Two, we've automated that. You don't have to do it. Self-driven. Okay. But we could have stopped right there. My God, we have everything in one place, automated. Anyone can run with it. You just sit down and enjoy the ride. Okay, you want to mess with it? It's a beautiful toy. You're not going to break it. Don't worry. It's very reliable. We could have stopped right there. We have a very successful business. This is doubled down like already, right? But uh, we said, hmm. People need exposure, whether they're business, ideas, books, you name it, okay? Any project you have, you need to share it. If, if you know about that, just like one doesn't, is, is too small of a number, doesn't pick up, doesn't build up. So we thought people struggle with traffic. That's a hot topic. And a lot of people will tell you all the tricks in the world. I'm gonna pause on this point before we go to the last pillar of Unpassive. So pillar 
three, we thought something called traffic. We need to include traffic. It's, it's, uh, it's not realistic to expect everybody to know the, the, the resources or the, the budget or what works or the, the proper subject line and, and a message, what catches, what doesn't work, how do you follow up, but tomorrow um, I'm busy, we have something else, you don't follow up, you break it. It also has to be systematic and uh, and because uh, not all traffic are the same. Here is what we're seeing, and that's what kind of uh, motivated me uh, to to really. I know there's something better, so I go to conventions prior to this, or you know, b before even on passive uh, project. And you pay a couple of thousand dollars and travel. I'm talking about the US here, the value, you do the math. Most people can figure it out. Uh, and you pay for a course and all of that and they tell you loophole or a trick, how to collect free leads, 50 leads a day, 30 leads a day on Facebook. In my definition, it's a true uh, failing uh, strategy. It's, it's a, it's a losing strategy. It's unethical. It's uh, not targeted. It is not effective, and it's harassing. It is uh, spamming. It's unethical. You're pushing yourself on something that I wanted. Why? I I take uh, Facebook as a f like a trap, like a you know cheese on a, on a, on a mouse trap. So everybody comes there. They want to sell their garbage, forgive me, okay? And it's like a dog fight. Everybody, me, 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 me. You come in with the mindset you want to sell me your stuff. You're not coming there for me. And I come there because I want to sell you my stuff. So I'm already programmed. I am not going to allow you to influence me. You're programmed. I'm blocked. I'm going to sell you. So how is it going to work if the mindset is not proper? Two, the mindset, the perception on the platform is different on every platform. Everybody has multiple Facebooks, no doubt. We can talk about that. Everybody has multiple email accounts. You have one for the family, probably. You have one for the business, for your doctor appointments, or for the... Um, what do you call those promotions for your Bed Bath and Beyond coupons and right? And uh, you have one for uh, offers, business opportunities, which is spam, so you can take ideas. So you open that as a trash collector. You you designed it. I'm not the way it's designed and manufactured. I'm not gonna even taken into this. So, so the perception when I'm checking my email for my family or on Facebook is totally different or on Twitter or searching. So, so the mindset with this random traffic is not the, the most perceptive to any product. You don't go to buy your grocery on Facebook. Oh, or I'm gonna buy a piece of furniture or some item for the house. You don't go, I'm gonna go and maybe on Twitter, I'll find some offers. It's not the right platform. You don't go on Skype and somebody hit me, I wanna buy my, uh, bananas today it's not there so it has been done wrong and we think is like okay go and and create a conversation and, and all of that it takes leadership it takes attitude it takes mindset attraction gotta be likable it's a whole set i will tell you what it's not possible as positive as i am as optimistic as I am, it's not replicatable it's not gonna work it's not targeted it's not uh, effective. You cannot go far because people are not gonna do it. And uh, 
It's just not going to work all the time. It's the wrong market. It's the wrong philosophy. It's, it's the wrong strategy. So to be effective, okay, you have to change the dynamics, including because it's all about attraction. What attracts you to this product or to this business? Or it's about attraction. So if it's not set up properly, uh, it, it will get saturated or you would have probably some success, but not unlimited success, not going to be scalable. So here is the pillar of Unpassive. We provide the traffic that is targeted, that is qualified, that is relevant for people who, or, or prospects who said, I'm looking for this, show me what you got. It, it's an open uh, relationship. It is effective. It's a yes or a no. This is what I got. It's a. It's called trade, e-commerce. Okay. Any uh, area you're in, it's either sell or buy, offer, sell. This is what we got. You like it, take it. If you're attractive enough, you're gonna sell enough. So that's why we are different. We heard that Lee saw the live blood or everything, but some old methods they don't work anymore and i see people are still doing the same insanity spam 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 and it's just an insult to our intelligence we can do better as as human being in 2020 there is more technology or there's at least to to be realistic about the expectation i will not invite anybody don't take me wrong. We have to do something. This is what's available in Facebook right now. This is what's available. I don't blame you if you're doing it because this is what you're taught, okay? And this is what's available. But if we replace it with something more realistic, something more logical, something more reliable, more effective, okay? The real deal, it's not about the quantity. It's about the quality, right? Okay, if we do that, now we have a we have an offer that attracts a whole market. So that alone can actually be a business if we provide traffic. And I'm not saying the, the mentality of done for you is not like charitable. It's not like we're handing it, like we're giving it away. You're paying for it. You're hiring the company on passive to do the work for you, okay? And we're not, tricking you you're paying for it up front now we're going to take a slice of it to cover the technology payroll we have real employees engineers masters experts managers all types of, of people we do that on your behalf but you pay for it so we got to cover that before we even go anywhere so that is covered from your uh subscription to the traffic that we provide it, it's paid it's not like we're gonna go and harass people on facebook or or or, or see what happens we pay for it you buy one you buy two you buy five it's predictable if i give you five give him five automatically fair and square everybody's gonna succeed here's the thing but how do you follow up with them and what do you tell them and what do you sell them that's another topic also that is covered it's all one complete solution i can do it dan can do it but i don't expect everybody to do it and we don't have one style it's impossible to have one style so i want everybody today to try to, to look at things differently you come and tell me well mike said so and so this is mike's style he's a doer he's taking action if you're not doing better action, be quiet, okay? Cannot criticize somebody and, and you have no action. So any action, any action is better than no action, all right? No tire kickers. Now, you support that. Now, he has a different style. You have a different style. She has a different style. And it's necessary because we cannot have one uh you know model and and everybody we're humans we're, we're moody we have something in the mind in the mind inside of your brain all of you called friction brain friction have you 
liked one food or one color before and you change your mind, you can't stand it anymore? Do you get confused where we're going to eat today, what I'm going to wear today, or where we go today? It's called mind friction. Your brain internally is messed up. It's, it's debating itself. It's confused. It's moody. It's, it's science. So how could your brain, my brain, his brain, her brain, everybody's brain be on the same page and do the same exact thing? It's just not going to work. If we all look the same thing and we use one passport because we look alike, no, we have to be different. That's what makes us, right? So we have to have a complete system run on autopilot. We don't expect anybody to uh, be uh, creative. We don't rely on that because with the masses, it, with the different backgrounds, it's just not realistic. We have to also provide the traffic and do the proper procedure to work with that traffic. How do you deal with it? That's the whole topic, okay? But you have to get the right traffic, okay? Doesn't have, matter how much or how many, but the right traffic, targeted traffic. Not all traffic are equal, no way. And the perception and where you get the traffic and all is paid for. Okay, so if we cover those, we can walk away. We nailed it. What a business model on passive. My goodness, we're done. So I can walk away. I tell you, I gave you like something with three major solutions in life. But Mike Williams or Mike Ellis is going to come and say, I like that concept. How can I be a part of that? You're going to be a reseller. We're gonna give you a slice of that commission or, or the sales volume if you choose to, okay? If you're happy with the three uh, models, okay, or, or the, the three solutions that we offer, they're major, not small, by the way, they're complete. But we decided we're gonna be partners in this, okay, in wealth and success. I'm astonished by the greed and corruption in the world. Why just a few people have all the wealth and the 97% of us just watch? And, and it's like they're aliens and, and this doesn't belong to us. And we are the product. We're being manipulated. How in the world this is fair? You're here for just a couple of decades or 10 or 15 decades, nobody lived, lived that long, but it's a short life. Isn't it going to be more enjoyable if it is more accessible to everybody? What's offered in life? What's offered in life? We're talking about healthy food, education, health, um, lifestyle, little travel, security, financial. That's basic. Why should somebody in Ghana have no education because they have no money or their family they can't even buy a shoe for or a pair of shoes for the for the kid for, for the child they walk barefooted okay in the street and and this frustrates me like how in the world we have hundreds of millions of children around the globe do not have sufficient food. Are we insane? Like in 2020, there is still starvation? How? Like it just doesn't make sense. So we must, as humans, because technology is beautiful, but where is the human part of one passive? That is how we all come together and share the, the result, the success, or or, or the benefit financially. I'm not promising you you're going to be those billionaires that they are not relatable at all. Like I don't even click with them. Uh, it just happened. They had a solution that worked randomly. I'm not saying all of them. Some people engineered it. Uh, but most of them, like the Facebook guys, 
the whole thing is, is, is a hack. How could I even support that? Uh, so it's unethical and it's not fair. And it's, uh, it's just, it's just going to put us behind as humans. So we can find a solution like if we provide those three things and just another billionaire, uh, another five billionaires, Who's, who cares? But on passive and the AI, the artificial intelligence and the technology that we have in on passive comes with a beautiful kind heart that no one else, I've never seen it. Everybody is deep in our heart, okay, in, in our calculation. There's always that brain in me on every step. I'm thinking, what about the little guy? Mari de Garmo, yesterday we were talking. We we're talking about the, some, you know, technical uh, or, or, or some marketing strategies, displaying name and all of that. Did I tell you, that's not gonna, it's not gonna be fair for the little guy. I told you, this is good for you, it's good for me, for, for, for the pros, but it is not gonna work for the little guy and on passive was made for the little guy. I don't know who came up with the 97%. I don't believe it's 97%, it's just no way. I mean, it's, it's way bigger than that. There's not even a 1% of the global population is having a fair advantage of, of, of what's available. We're blessed to have this technology. We're blessed to have the human mind that can create those solutions. So why should I kind of have a monopoly and preserve it just to the Mofara family? So we're all gonna enjoy that. So four pillars, guys, okay. Complete, automated in one place, okay. Perfect traffic, the right traffic, okay. Done for you, 100%. And we're gonna share the benefit. It cannot, you can, I dare anybody to top this. So the four pillars of Unpassive, that's what makes it work for the little guy, for the big guy. Uh, and I think uh, it will be uh, a global solution. Not necessarily just the economy or economical part of it, but as well the today's lifestyle, the technology, the mechanics. So I wanna sip something, okay, called coffee, while I hear back if, if that's, you know, something that's sounding to you or, or making sense to you. Uh, all of you invited, uh, Dan, Marty, and, and, and Mike as well. Uh, I just can't, tell you how proud we believe that we completed that. It, and it was gradual. It was like one led to another, one thing. Uh, I believe we nailed it. What do you think, Dan? Absolutely. <clears throat> In fact, I, I mentioned a little earlier today that uh, we all have to establish a belief. And uh, it took Marty, Mike, and I, uh, you know, 15 months working hard on this and we, our belief became stronger and stronger as uh, as time went on and we are rock solid with this company right now and each person that is a uh, uh, is joining us today that is looking at this as an opportunity has to do that their due diligence themselves and and really look at this thing and uh, determine or not determine if this is for them and uh, we can we can share everything that we have with you, but you have to you have to get in there and really really work hard and and just take a look at this thing because it's the best. What do you mean, Mike? It's not the best. No, no, no. Let let me elaborate a little bit, Ash. I you know I I do this every week. I do it four or five six times a week, and I give a a view of unpassive. <clears throat> And it's okay. But as people come in and they've heard me and now they're listening to you and you talk about the four pillars, it, it expands their horizons so much more than I ever have, Ash, because it, 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 what you talk about not only affects their lives, but it affects everybody around them. And, and this goes worldwide. We, we have people in, in third world countries that if they brought in $500 a month, they're wealthy. 
And when they understand what you've just said, Ash, and, and you say it so much more eloquently than I do, it just makes such a big difference. I, I love listening to what you're, what you're saying, and I know what you're saying, but you say it in such a way that you're going, wow, this is bigger than what I thought. And it, and it really is. And, and every time I listen to you, every time, you know, you and Marty talk and we get off and, and we chat, Marty and I, we're just bouncing off the walls after that happens. I mean, literally bouncing off the walls because of what's coming. And I, understand, I believe that the people on our team, on Passive Nation, they understand this is special. This is different. This is nothing they've ever seen. And it will change the way they look at their life and the way they live their life. And that's so cool. That's the best part about what we do is seeing people really light up and they look at what you just said and they're going, man, this is for me. This is me. This is what I can do for my family. And it's because of what you've done, what the tech team has done. It's really some cool stuff, Ash. And I can't, I can't tell you how much we appreciate you coming on and giving that slant that they don't get from me or Marty or Dan. It's, it's extremely powerful. Very, very powerful, Ash. Thank, thanks thanks but, so much. But thank you and Dan as well. I, I would still like to, to hear uh, from uh, Marty elaborates, but uh, it, it can, it's not a one style. It's not a one. So I can do this, but we cannot go far. We have to have not only you, uh, uh, like Dan and Mike, and Mike, uh, we have to have somebody who speaks Hungarian, Slovak, Russian, Arabic, uh, and, and Vietnamese, and so uh, so, and they have to be relatable to their surrounding. So it's not a one style. We we have to be inclusive, uh, and and the whole business model has to be, like. If we have the competitive mentality within, again, you see that brain friction within. Can you imagine also we have that possible between all of them, how much friction we'll have? So that's why the setting for, for any business model, the way I view, especially in this arena, it's just not viable. Not going to work because it's set up for people to eat each other. Even the company competes with, with its own users. It just blows my mind. How is it going to succeed? Like it can to, to a degree, just but very limited temporarily, but it's not scalable. It's not a permanent solution. So, but it, it, be, because it got your attention, the heart that we exhibit and on a passive to, to the world and like to, the compassion to, to give them the financial tools and, and, and the solution. Uh, yeah, that's beautiful, but but I even go beyond that. I wish time allow us to go, you know, we also have the tools with an own passive. You're going to be wealthy, and, and we're talking about founders now, or financially solid, the least to say, more than secure. I know you're going to have excessive, okay, finances beyond your dreams. I know it. So what do you do with that excess or uh, extra? We want to make sure it's fairly delivered to where it belongs, all right? I've seen it before when the uh, big billionaires make it or, or multi-multi-millionaires, what they do with it. Vegas, Rolex, okay. Um, Yachts, hot chicks, some air, like private jet. Are you serious? Somebody's hungry within your neighborhood. Talk to me about India. I know the, the contrast in, in the society. It's messed up. Like in go, go to Mumbai and you see like one skyscraper or one like castle, just a block away. People are dying out of starvation. How is this realistic? Come on, okay. So I'm not saying you shouldn't be wealthy, no. I mean, come on, you're successful, enjoy it. But I'm sure you could lift up one individual with you, one. That will change their world, okay? Whether it's a child in, in, in Kenya that get a proper education or health or, or you know, 
enough with contaminated water. Just, just clean water. Can't we have drink water? So how so? Some people get the Evian and the uh, and all those fancy packaged, you know, waters. Okay, and some people drink contaminated water. How? How people can be ill and all they can do is, you know, put like olive oil or pad or whatever. <laughs> I mean, it's not realistic. You need treatment, right, Dan? I mean, he's, okay. Absolutely. So it has to be accessible. It has to be accessible. Food, health, education, that's a minimum. I mean, that's a, I'm not buying a car like, uh, you know, you get a car, you get a car. No. But at least we deserve water. We deserve safety. We deserve, deserve uh, financial security. So if you, have, if you take care of yourself, fill your tank. On passive is going to make sure that you do that first. You're fine, financially free, debt free, all of that solid. But we have set it up in such a way the tools are available that you can bless another soul on this beautiful planet. It doesn't matter what your interest, you probably can save an animal. Some people are passionate. A dog maybe can be, I, I don't care what's your passion or, or, you know, the environment or, you know, anything, you know, re science uh, researches or any, any interest that you have, okay? Orphans, uh, elder people or senior citizens. We, we, can, we can do better as humans. So, that's why on passive, you know, gets me um, more than just passionate. I, I actually, I can die for it, literally, like literally, because of the impact I know we are already making by giving that hope back in people's mind, no matter what they know or what they don't know, no matter what they have or they don't have, no matter how much they have, okay? It's not reserved to me and to those people who know how to do business or to a few, okay? I would enjoy it better with, with more people. That is more fulfilling, that is more given, and I'm not giving it away as a charity in terms of the business model, but the business model enables those on, in it and empower them to be able to bless that. Mari, I know you're compassionate about that because um, I know you have some interest you want to do, you want to travel, not, not just for the family, for other people outside the country. You've been, you've been you know, uh, you traveled globally and abroad before, and, and you know there's, the world is not limited. There's so much, there's an exciting lifestyle out there that we can enjoy if money was okay. I love it. Definitely. This is exactly the spirit of Unpassive. Hey, we've, we've heard it before, okay? Uh, we're, we're not necessarily going to feed uh, everybody, but we can teach them how to fish. We can give them the solution. It's literally you're giving them the tools, and they're running out of, and they're going to catch fish. And, and fishing doesn't mean like, literally fishing or hunting or recruiting. Uh, it means uh, to be able to be, uh, uh, here's the key thing, okay. We know work smart, work hard, all of that. The combination is, is to, is, you have to have both. So the, the Russian couple that you just mentioned, they work hard. If they know a, a smart way, they can leverage. They don't mind working hard. They, some of the most hardworking people I know, I worked with Russia myself. Um, they really work hard. But can you imagine if they have a smart work? That's a combination. A lot of people, slackers, they, they just want to work smart, but they don't have it, okay? They're trying to be wise. So smart work, hard work is ideal. You have to, to have the, the proper uh, business strategy and business model at the same time, okay, uh, to, to make sure it's, it's relatable and, and it affects everybody's life somehow, whether you're in it or not. Like I, if you're my neighbor, not everybody necessarily is gonna be passionate about the solution or the, the four pillars we just mentioned, but 
they can somehow benefit if the economy in that country is being lifted, if the crime is, is going down because people don't have to do that. They, they just have the, the tools or the access to do better. Uh, if uh, they have better health, so the impact is gonna grow. I mean, how many of us thought about, I'm gonna go and maybe we come together and we're gonna fund one hospital somewhere in a developed country uh, or clinic, just a clinic that in a village or school or clean water uh, option. How many of us thought, thought oh, or pledged to do that? I can't wait to do that. And it, I know it's gonna happen. Uh, some people might pledge and, you know, just get uh, seduced by the money and wealth and all that, but to a point, then they're gonna say, oh, this is not fulfilling. I better do something meaningful. So what we have in on passive is that we have the platform where we will do it. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing with that money. I'm not, if, if I'm gonna have to say this publicly, if I, if the wealth or the, the, the financial status where I am today, this is until not only myself, my legacy, it's done. I don't have to, I don't have to work a day. I don't have to, to, to struggle for money. So I'm done by now. So what motivates me beyond money, okay, that I can go on and on and on, that, that you have a purpose, okay, that, uh, to, to have a meaningful, it has to be beyond yourself. So I know it, I know what happens. We're gonna to get to a point where you might be like, oh, I'm just gonna take care of it. But most of us, once you get to that threshold of like being fulfilled, you're gonna start thinking of something more meaningful in life, something more fulfilling that goes and grows beyond your, your selfish, you know, or personal uh, needs, okay? We all have needs, it's, it's okay. But uh, it's not much, you're gonna do better as a whole, so we're gonna give you the ability to be able to give back. We're gonna get you there, okay? The tr take care of yourself, fill your tank, okay? You cannot give what you do not have. First, you have to stuff your <laughs> wallet and then be able to give back as much as, as generous as you could be. And uh, some people will give more, some people less, it doesn't matter. You save one life, one child, uh, one elder, one, it, it just, we will impact the world. On passive is just beyond business. It's, it's not only a business solution, it's a, it's a lifestyle. It's a, it's a whole human, uh, uh, you know, collaboration that I know, I know your grandkids and, and your grand, Kid, kids are going to talk about that and say, thank you, Grandpa Mari Di Garmo, for what you've done and endorsing the philosophy and, and the vision of um, passive early on. Just you saw it, you got in, you're a visionary and you're leaving this for us and beyond, okay? Uh, we're, we're literally putting a stamp on and, and a mark on this uh, planet. And we have one life, either we just like a number, you know, people are count number, people are in, people out. I'm not gonna say the other word, garbage in, garbage out, but <laughs> uh, it just, we're not gonna be a number. You're gonna count as a founder of on passive, you have a mark on planet earth that generations in the future, if you're, if, if you're really in it, okay, uh, they're gonna thank you. They're gonna recognize your vision and your wisdom of endorsing such a business model. I don't know if we have time to, to go over another topic. I am excited to, uh, yeah, to, to cover maybe one more point. I mean, Mike and, and, and Dan, uh, you probably wanna pick one more topic. I'm looking at, at I have potential discussion topics uh, that we can probably cover uh, briefly. And uh, I'm, I'm just leaving a reason that I can be invited again here because um, let's do something special. What do you think for on Passive Nation? On, 
on the honor of Unpassive Nation, okay? I want to give everybody one reason to be excited about the future. One reason, okay? Have you heard of something called COVID-19? Yep, sadly, okay. So uh, we can look at it that it's a tragic thing or we can actually develop an opportunity okay or 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 it empowers us to do. like i'll give you examples some of our founders here from the united kingdom or there's a, a british study it just came from britain uh, yesterday or the day before one good thing i know 100 oh no i'm sorry 1 million british smokers quit smoking fear of covid 19. okay there's something good in it right okay so uh one million in one country that's 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 a lot of progress uh so we can look at the half full or the half empty of the glass i want to look at what possibilities this covid 19 created i know something i'm going to give you some statistic science something that in 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 the in the kitchen of on passive okay for the first time i'm going to reveal it here but without the mechanics, because this is a public uh, platform, right? But I'm going to tell you why on passive is superior to any IT company or AI company. Okay, we're ahead of our peers in every way. So on passive saw this early on. Okay, we actually had the discussion um, months ago. We're going to create something called. Okay, are you ready? maybe the name will sell it okay it's on passive academy what does that mean what does that mean so academy we're not a school we're not a university we're not going to give a diploma but we're the platform of the future education virtual education distance learning from distance this is becoming like water okay it's it's inevitable you have to have that so many schools around the world right now right now as we speak have decided to open or reopen virtually they need the mechanics or the tools they don't exist yet yeah they got zoom but that's not viable uh it, it just the the schools they don't own it they, they don't have complete control of the mechanics or monetization of that utilization. I'm going to blow your mind with, with something that will make your head spin. Statistics say there are 1.8 billion, that's 1,800 million students from, you know, first grade until, uh, you know, uh, graduate, like college, uh, universities, so we're talking about 1.8 billion market cap, all right? On Passive is developing a solution on Passive Academy. And, and don't judge me if the name is not exactly like that purposely because I know some good friends are listening to this so they're gonna play with it, okay? But we know what we're doing, okay? So I'm gonna give you what's, what's gonna give you the. the like I'm gonna say enough to to broaden your vision, okay? But not the mechanics, because it's IP, intellectual property for own passive. We are creating a solution where all students of all levels, even elective education, I wanna learn how to cook something you know lasagna so the virtual edu education I, i'm not gonna go flip channels now so wh where do you go you go online so if i have something so you got the the youtube channels you got the gurus you got the ebooks you got the uh, webinar series you got the videos you got so we're kind of organizing this in one place called on passive academy okay where students and the 1.8 billion plus i want to teach you how to play guitar i'm not okay how to sing how to do you know uh, uh 
uh, take care of your taxes. Okay? So real life knowledge that we need. So we're putting the platform where the students can come, the teachers, the underpaid teachers can come globally where they can have a better opportunity. So we're giving the, the solution to the teacher where they can make more money, all right, than they can ever make in their career or traditional education, okay? And the parents can afford homeschooling and private education, custom education. I don't need to learn about certain topics. I want to learn math, but why are you teaching me religion and history? And I'm like, well, yawning, because I need the credit. Who said we have to do that? Okay, so we, today something called, so the, the traditional education is old. It's, it's getting outdated. We need custom education. Academy, I want to learn how to program Java. That's all I want to do. I don't need any talk. I'm a programmer. I want to put my brain into something. I don't need that. I want to talk about politics. So I want to talk to those people who want to talk politics. So it has to be relevant, targeted, okay? And it has to be monetized where the teacher can make a living, where the, the, the parents can afford that custom private homeschool and travel, do the things you like. Why do you have to send them to schools? And, and, and sadly, I have to tell you this, and, and take a chance and risk of being shot or, or you know, or, or, or bullied or so. Why do I have to take a risk and send my child there? I'm gonna bring the best teachers that I can afford to pay them, give them the exact education that they need, that they like empower their strengths, their hobby, their passion, not their weaknesses. I hate this topic, but I have to learn it because I gotta do, get a degree or a diploma. It's academy, it's custom education. But here's the thing. So you're gonna have to be able to organize classes in a much better way than uh, the traditional class and chalk or whiteboard, whatever, okay. Uh, you're gonna have videos, archive of previous classes, you can catch up, audios, videos, all format of you know, medias and today's technology, technical, okay? In your language, in your relevant topic, I there's a master chef in Japan, I wanna learn sushi from them, and I'm here in the United States on the other side of the world, okay? How could that happen? I'm gonna to have to fly there, it's gonna cost me stay a couple of years. No, I can take it online. Put it together, okay? So, so we're gonna have classes, archives, wallet exchange internally, student, which is the guardians or the parents can pay for it from their income, their users of one passive, the teacher can generate an invoice, okay? And pay and custom and bill. They can also, there are templates for exams with OnPassive. And guess what? We have masters in education are doing that, all right? There's a portion that is done of OnPassive, how to get custom education. We have it covered until the uh, uh, ages of 12, okay, right now. We're gonna continue building on that. It's gonna be elective education, custom private education, high quality, people can afford to do it. Teachers are gonna make money. Parents are gonna earn more because when, when more students come to use it, meaning more customers are on passive, more funds, more, more, more growth, more uh, uh, prosperity to all of us. So if, if you get the vision, like imagine, you know, uh, uh, the on passive academy okay imagine different folders so you got the archived students uh the next class the calendar where it is if it's going to be using the on passive uh, do you remember in the last webinar i said there's some platforms the the private webinar with on passive okay founders i said there are a few systems complete systems that can be the they can be a business on their own that they also have connect me 
in uh, integrated with them. It's not connect me, don't worry. Okay, so uh, so we have that. So now the the virtual tools to do the the the, the audio, the visual, the collaboration, the students and all that. It's better than a stool because. This is a screen. This is like whatever, 27 inches or 32 inches or 13 inches laptop or, 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 or you know, five inches uh, iPhone or whatever. So how many noses can be, you know, closed and watching that screen? One student, two students, three, their teacher, the, and who smell the breath. It's not safe anymore, okay? So I'm in my home or office anywhere and thousands can be attending the same class. Clean, safe, healthy, and we can collaborate and we can hear the class, the knowledge that I want, custom, academy. So this is another one and a half or one, eight billion users can use our technology and they can earn using that can, you know, definitely uh, compound. Uh, so there's not a tool that you would need to go to another platform. So I'm going to check my email. Or I'm going to go to Zoom to have that class. Or what time is it? So everything, you got the agenda or the calendar, okay? You got the previous classes. You got the exams, templates, or all of that. The teachers can do them, okay? You submit them. They mark. Everything is perfect. The teacher has like almost like an admin panel. The students have a different view. You can do one-on-one, -on -one, you can do multiple. Uh, that alone, that business model alone, or that system alone, we can, we can live off it, okay? Not that this is the goal. I actually genuinely, okay, saw the solution. Ourselves here in this house, um, we are homeschooling and we don't have a job. We don't have school, right? Total freedom. And we have something called on passive that is in 212 countries currently. We have a plan to visit as many countries as possible before we die. If we have school, it's not gonna work for us. So I, I, I personally saw the need and after, you know, all the, in, the safety issues and challenges here in America that we see going to school and, and, and you know, so many issues. And it's not, it's not effective. I mean, we don't believe in that. We have custom education that you can give your child, build on, on their strength, not their weaknesses. So now we have something. They're literally ahead of their classes. So they go and test them. Now they're supposed to be on the first grade. They thought, you know, you're finishing the last term of the second grade. Why? because they get the whole 45 minutes, one-on-one, -on -one, not with 60 students. Be quiet, uh, uh, so, uh, you know, just to manage it. We know how it goes, but can you imagine like one-on-one, -on -one, they get the whole 45 minutes or one hour or as much as you want. Oh, I like this topic. Oh, they like it. Oh, add it, class. They love it. What they like, you go, you go with their passion. This is, this is the future of learning, of education, okay? On passive is, is finishing the solution to do that. Not only ahead of the curve, we're creating the curve, <laughs> okay? So uh, I hope that gets you excited. I mean, you couldn't be in a better position if you're a founder with On Passive. The future is for us. We're owning this game. We're dominating the the market in every aspect, uh, I guess, simply because we, we, we have the knowledge, but, but also the heart. AI with heart, that is on passive. I hope I uh, gave you a reason to be more excited and more hopeful to take care of yourself. Here's the thing, every founder will benefit from this market cap automatically, just because you're in it. Uh, it, it just, I don't think in, in my lifetime or your lifetime, you will witness another thing as big, as powerful as on passive. I just don't think so. And if you have it, 
I'll be your first fan and I will chant behind you. I will do it. I'll be a customer. If you do it as good, as complete, as honest as on passive, if you do it, I'll stop on passive. I'll be your first one. And we will build your business. It just doesn't exist. I mean, no way.